Hey guys, what is that? That's going to Brownsville by the North Mississippi All-Stars. Old Furry Lewis too, and you wanna catch that going to Brownsville on the album World Boogie. So, um, what am I doing? Well, I'm still trying to get this Brian J. White Owl box uh, taken care of. It's coming soon, man, it really is. Um, but again, I've taken a road, gonna take that right-hand road. Yeah, and I've got off out in the weeds again. You notice this wine bottle here is missing something uh, because I took this and cut it off and got this. Now, I like these cobalt blue bottles. Um, you know who makes the wine that it goes in? Yeah, I bet you do want to know. But anyway, send me an email. I'll know that you're watching. I might tell you who makes this wine pretty cheap. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Uh, Anyway, we'll end it at that, the rest of it. You don't need to know about what I do and don't do. Uh, but anyway, great bottle. So, what am I doing? Well, I'm going to take this bottleneck and I'm going to take it to the Grammy Museum because I'm about to see Luther and Cody. Uh, they're doing a show at the Grammy. They're going to talk about their new album, Up and Rolling. And it comes from a time that is inspired by some pictures that were taken when Luther and Cody were very young. And we're playing on the front porch with people like Junior Kimbrough, Arthur Turner, and R.L. Burnside, the uh, grandfathers of Hill Country Blues. So I am going to do what I usually do, and that's go in and try to get to Luther and actually get this on his finger and see if I can get him to try one of my blue slides on one of his guitars. So, what have I forgotten? Got the music going to Brownsville. North Mississippi All-Stars. Oh yeah, 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 forgot to tell you. This wine comes in a measurement of milliliters. That's right, got your metric hater. Give me that dislike, the rest of you. Give me a like uh, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified when my exciting videos come. Now let's go see if we can't hunt down Luther Dickinson with this puppy right here. See you next time. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I forgot the most important thing. I'd like to give a shout out to all my friends in Slick, that's right, Slick, Oklahoma. If you lived in a place called Slick, what more could you want out of life? Okay, now let's go find Luther. Well, well first of all, hanging out on oath is you know, uh, be, you know that that wasn't the only time, obviously, that you guys <laughs> got to spend a little time with, with Otha Turner. And I'm wondering, you know, tell me about the kinds of things that would happen on Otha's porch. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are better left unseen. Yeah, well, all right, fair enough. <laughs> what, whatever you can share with a family <laughs> audience. And I wrote a letter to uh, Otha's front porch was the site of my initiation. Yes. Know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, the thing about Hill Country Blues, Mississippi Hill Country Blues, everybody talks about the trance vibe and the, yeah. and the, the harmonic style of the, the droney, but it's the moonshine, <laughs> you know, that uh, gets you into this state. Yeah. And, um, that was the commodity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. So Oathers Picnics, Juniors, uh, Juke Joint, it was all commerce, you know, sure. it was all about bootlegging. And Oather was a retired moonshiner, and he, he still, Distributed, but he didn't make his own. Ah. And I just heard a great story that before my time, the sheriff came to Oather and said, the whatever the the local the main boot, bootlegger at that time had gotten busted or died or whatever. And Oath and the sheriff came to Oather and said, "You're the guy. You're the only person I can trust." And he was like supplying the whole county. The sheriff told me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, That's good. How great is that? How, how, how great is that? What so in those days, Oather always had a horse and buggy. He, he always did. And he and Fred McDowell, Mississippi Fred McDowell, yes. were neighbors and best friends. Yeah. So they would load up the wagon on Friday. And, uh, and go to house party after house party from Friday afternoon until like late Sunday night, um, selling and playing music. So Oathers Front Porch, we would sit there. I was friends with Oathers for a lot of years and we even made records together before I actually played guitar for him. Yeah. And, but once I did, then our, our relationship blossomed and we would sit on the front porch in the evening and uh, stomp our foot 
and, uh, and play guitar is my friend R.L. Boyce, who was recently um, beaten by the Rolling Stones for a blues Grammy uh, this last year, you know? Uh, but R.L. Boyce was not something beaten. inherently unfair about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
And so many elders, our dad, his community, everyone he introduced us to, the Mississippi community, all the elders were so kind to us and gave yes. us so much. And um, so now we owe it to them to, to keep what we learned from them alive, but also to teach the new people. Yeah. And that for a minute, that was a challenge. But yeah. now what I would like to do, yeah. I would be proud if my generation could erase that line in the sand. You Completely. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. yeah.